Why would a teacher not use technology? Some say it's because they do not know how to properly use it. They think it's a distraction. Older teachers do not like change, and they think they don't have enough time. Although some elementary teachers think these are valid excuses, let's look deeper to disprove these accusations and further discuss practical uses of technology. Some teachers may not know how to properly use technology and do not think they have enough time to learn. Well, most schools these days pay for teachers to go to a workshop during school hours so they can learn. Also, some teachers think that it's too much of a distraction. It really depends on how well you have class planned and are monitoring. If the teacher knows exactly what they want the children to do, then the kids can do that and be done with it while the teacher is monitoring. Another reason is that some people include teachers do not like change. That can be fixed by talking to the teachers and explain that this is the way that things are going, but they can take a little bit at a time. There are millions of ways to successfully use technology. The first one is to help increase interactions. It is very important to get the children interacting with each other so they can build their social skills. With technology, it's a win-win situation. The children will be bettering their social skills while playing educational games that they choose. There are websites that are based off of some of the kids' favorite shows that are educational. Another way is for teacher resources. Have you ever found yourself in a position where you're looking and looking for a certain paper in the filing cabinet? Well, with computers, you can just type in the name of the file and it'll come right up. Also, have you ever wanted to look at the teachers next to you their lesson plan? Well, on the internet, teachers can set up chat groups. So while sitting on your couch, all of you can collaborate ideas to help each other. One of the most important things that most teachers are concerned about are test scores. Well, let's think about it. Most standardized tests are going to be on computers. Studies show that if the test is practiced just in the same format, test scores seem to improve. So, by using computers for basic subject tests, it will not only help the teacher quicker grading, but increase practice for students on computer testing. On top of that, if a child misses class or wants extra practice, a website with the homework for the day and extra practice tests can be set up to help ensure educational growth for all.